Hello there and welcome back to my channel Aqua Splendor. My name is Nicole Maria with another series of video about T5 combo. And you know what is great is when you do similar video like this, I don't even need to change the timing for the time step. So this time we will attack the combo Reflight LED with the Gizman T5 with the famous Kessel E360 WE Tuna Blue. And like always, I show the T5 single first and then the combo later. This full hybrid light is actually the one I've been using for the last past two years, I think. And it's been really, really good. I really love and enjoy this combo and this hybrid system of T5 and LED. Actually, the first light that I bought was the Aqua Illumination Prime HD. But I had really big trouble with the disco effect on the sun. And especially when the tank is new and you have your, your sun that is really, really white. And just because of that, I decided to switch because it was bothering me too much. I need to apologize for one of my footage. The Super Purple Solo is uh, shaking. And the reason why it's shaking is because I was doing my laundry and the machine is like really far away. But I never knew that it was actually shaking the floor that much. Uh, so lesson learned when I do my macro shot. Uh, I will avoid doing this. And just a little hint, even when I breathe, it moved the floor. So just to give you uh, an idea how difficult it can be for me, so <laughs> excuse me for that. Okay, so I got to admit, uh, at first I was really skeptical to buy a dislike because of the price is humongous with the controller, spectral, and the Canadian tax and stuff like that. So I think it was close to $700, but I already had some experience with my uh, freshwater aquarium just behind uh, this aquarium with the Tuna Sun version, and I felt in love with it. Also, that fresh uh, water version, at one point I dropped by accident in the aquarium and it stopped working. So I was really sad at first, but like losing that much money in a single motion, it really hurt. But after a couple of days, uh, I replugged the light and well, it didn't work. But I waited a couple of days like, again and just before I contacted the support from Kessel, I tried again and it worked flawlessly back after that, it was really cool. Just like he never had any uh, problem, so I was really pleased to see that. I found out that the inside of the light was actually covered some sort of like coating of plastic, silicone, whatever it is, I, I don't know. But it, it protects the motorboard and chips and stuff like that. So it may have like a high price, but I always had the philosophy of paying more and have that peace of mind and so I can focus on other things. The cool thing with that controller was also that I was able to control both very different aquarium like freshwater and saltwater with different intensity and color. So that is a very interesting feature and it was really practical for all this time until I messed up with the controller. I dropped some water and it kind of like followed the wire until it reached the inside and I kind of like killed the, the controller. It still worked, but I have some trouble with that, like it disconnect, it reset the memory and stuff like that, so it's not like super uh, useful. So I decided to buy an open box from BRS, the Spectral X controller made for the A360X series. And on that controller, it still have the 0, 10 volt uh, port, but I cannot anymore play a different uh, profile for each tank. I was also considering to buy uh, the, that uh, Castle A360X uh, Tuna Blue, but I've already have more light than what I really need. So if I do this, it's, it's more for like a creating a content on YouTube. Between all the light I've been testing and play in some local fisher, Kessel, in my opinion, is the most advanced LED light on the market for aquarium. Kessel is actually a division from a Daikon and contrary to other aquarium company, Kessel is a light company. So they have more resources, uh, they have more expert, and they have uh, more technology uh, that goes behind them. And what makes them different from other uh, is the fact that they develop their own LED, their own many patent. For example, they have their dense matrix LED. They can make LED that are super miniature and extremely compact, which no other company I can, I think, uh, can do. By going in this direction, they can also obtain a better color blending, which is exactly the reason why I decided to upgrade with this light. I really dislike that the uh, unnatural uh, disco look that we can see with other LED light. The ultimate goal of a light is to mimic the sun, and that light is the closest LED product to manage a natural look. By being a real spotlight, it comes with the benefit of creating intense shimmer. 
Castle have the reputation to be the king uh, in this domain and they deserve it. At the same time, I have a love-hate relationship with that shimmer. For one, when I look my tank with my eyes, uh, it's very really beautiful, but when I start to make videos, and especially macro shot, that shimmer become way too much intense. People get annoyed by this, so one of my tricks is actually to turn off one of my pump and uh, so it have less movement on the surface of the water. Another feature that I think is really a smart strategy is their castle logic. Whatever the color blending that you adjust on the knob or on the controller for your own liking, the light always remains with the essential spectrum for your coals. So you never mess up anything. It's idiot proof feature that make the light really simple to use and this is a really smart move because what we see as a human and what the spectrum is actually there are two completely different things. So whenever you adjust the, the like a, to a wider spectrum, it simply add like that kind of like green, yellow, orange, red-ish color, which you, we preserve this as a white. So before doing this footage, I had to take a decision which color blending to go. So I decided to go 50% because I think it's a, like a average color for everyone. So, and it's also like part of my philosophy to be neutral. So uh, I hope that like 50% of you will agree on that choice. <laughs> Now between all the hybrid uh, combo that I've tested, this one is probably the, the one that have like the most uh, synergy between uh, providing the lightning with the Gizman T5 and the Castle LED. The problem of having a spotlight like this is it creates sh some shadow. In a tank like mine, it doesn't make sense to buy like two uh, A360WE to cover the, those shadows. So that T5 filled that issue. The A360X will actually be an upgrade also for this. Also, when I did a test, I was really surprised how it's even possible to provide light to certain area in my tank. I'm not even too sure to understand like the, the physics behind this, but spreading the intensity of the light is extremely important and Kessel really understood this uh, very soon in their development. My two only complaints about this light is, for one, it's the price. It's extremely expensive, especially when you consider like to, to buy the controller. And I wish like it, it was more accessible to the general public. Uh, the other complaint is I wish it had like more punch, more power, compare like the the Radian, the Arfec, and other like like this. Uh, I would just wish it had like more punch, more power. And if they could fix those two things, man, that light could be like the ultimate rift light. Alright, so now it's time to do my recommendation. So for the option number one is the combo of Super Acnic and Super Purple. This is what I've been running for the last the past two years, I think, on this tank. And I really loved it. I replaced my ball, I think, after 18 months, which is kind of a lot. And I test my power during this time and I know when to change it. I noticed also there was like a slight change of the spectrum of the brightness of the color also. So there's like a little shift there over time. I love the purple look, the purple is power, but don't be fooled, it's a mix of color and we preserve this as purple, but it's not true purple. Now for the second option, it's the Super Acnic and the Acnic Blue. Those two, two, five together are the core for the most of what the corals need. It also helps to attenuate the, the shimmer a little bit. It gives a nice blue feeling if you like this. Uh, it's more like a, a natural blue, not like the, the that Windex blue with the LED that we see that pop the coal. It, it's more natural. So there we go. I think this was my last one of this series of combo since I don't own any other LED. I hope this was uh, really helpful for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.